book, Where's God When It Hurts, has some great stuff that we can understand. Take us through that in terms of leprosy, pain, suffering. Why, why does God allow us to have pain? We can understand this action. It's a great, uh, great story, and it illustrates C.S. Lewis's line that we need to get before us uh, from his book, The Problem of Pain, which is an excellent book for people. God whispers to us in our pleasure, speaks to us in our conscience, but shouts to us in our pain. Pain is God's megaphone to arouse a morally deaf world. I'll put uh, images on that. You're lying on the beach, the breeze is blowing through the palms, and you're saying, and God is whispering, I'm good. You know, or you're speeding down the highway, you see a red flashing light in the mirror, and you feel a little <laughs> in your gut, and it's a policeman. Uh, that's conscience. That's God speaks a little louder. You're lying in a hospital bed, your leg is up in the air, there are bandages around, you look like a mummy, and you're just reeking with pain, God shouting to you, see. This is the uh, uh, image behind it. So what Philip Yancey said, and it was based on the work of, uh, of the famous leprosy doctor, Blanchard, who discovered that leprosy does not destroy people's fingers and toes, and we see all these gross pictures. Leprosy destroys their ability to sense pain. And they destroy their finger. You could be standing like this, you know, and your finger in the fire burning off, and you don't even know it because you can't feel it. Uh, you could take a hammer and, and bash off your thumb and not feel it. So the first lesson to learn about suffering is that pain is God's way to keep us from self-destruction. Uh, and that's a moral lesson that you could explain most of the pain in the world by God's megaphone to keep us from self-destruction. Let me give you a good pain. You get a pain in your chest, good pain. You better go, you might be having a heart attack. You get one to your lower right side, good pain. You might need an appendectomy. Uh, toothache, good pain. So pain is God's way to keep us from destroying ourselves. Also in Philip Yancey's book, he talked about how the lepers circumvented the yeah. warning systems. They devised the warning systems to keep them from burning their hands off or their, knocking their fingers off. Tell them what they did and what the lepers did. Yeah, it was like a little bleeper, you know, and every time they got near a fire, the bleeper would go on. They discovered it didn't work because you need more than a bleeper. It's like uh, you don't wear seat belts just because there's a, a bleeper on the dashboard. If you f didn't put the seat belt on and you got a shock, uh, that would make you put the seat belt on, right? So they found out that the bleeper system didn't work. Second lesson, not only does pain keep us from self-destruction, but it has to be strong enough to work. It has to be strong enough to work. It has to be a shock, not just a little bleeper. So then they hooked up a shock system on the leper. They get near fire, they got a shock. Didn't work twice. Worked only the first time, and then they were smart enough to say, hey, I'm going to turn this thing off next time I get fired because I don't want to get shocked. <laughs> but, uh, final lesson. Pain keeps us from self-destruction, has to be strong enough to work, and three, it has to be out of our control. If we all controlled the rheostat of pain, we'd turn it all the way down every time. Even Rabbi Kushner's book, When Bad Things Happen to Good People, said, I would never have chosen to go through this suffering with my son. And I can surely say that about my daughter. But I'm a better man for having done so. And we all are.